हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो माय नेम इज महेश प्रसाद मिश्र आई एम एन एसोसिएट डेटा साइंटिस्ट एट सेफ्टी सॉफ्टवेयर प्राइवेट लिमिटेड सो ऑलरेडी इन द रीसेंट वीडियोस वी टॉक्ड अबाउट यू नो अबाउट पावर बीआई व्हाट इज पावर बीआई एंड विद दिस फंक्शनलिटीज एंड फीचर्स ऑफ पावर बीआई एंड हाउ um it's like uh, it helps uh, data analysts with business and uh, like business analysts and data scientists to you know uh, build up good reports and dashboards uh, to generate business business insights from data uh, and all uh, how to build you know interactive reports and dashboard we also saw that and uh, recently we also saw that how to merge two data sources uh, and uh, how to build dynamic dimensions and uh, all uh, we learned about that so in today's uh, today is video we are gonna dive into uh, the bookmarks uh, it's a very interesting part of power bi uh, so we we will get to see you know how to build interactive uh, graphs uh, by bookmarks so and uh, you know how we can use bookmarks to our advantage and how to Use the bookmarks and the selection panel and everything. So we are going to learn that, uh, and uh, and uh, we will see like how it helps us. So yeah, so let's get started. Let's go to the Power BI Desktop app, as you all know. Uh, so these are our, as you all know, these are our uh, our data sources or data sets. Uh, okay. tables or whatever we can call them uh, so where we can find the bookmarks okay let me show insert and then this that's a thing called buttons okay uh, we can use these buttons to you uh, make it as an action or something like that you can also do that also one more thing uh, we are going to do that also and other thing is insert view okay in view that's a thing called bookmarks let me select that bookmarks and uh, i think let me select selection panel okay so you can see already uh, in selection panel whatever is on that page it will show like you can see the image uh, uh, is showing here so if we choose to hide it so it will get have like hidden or some uh, hidden and uh, we are going to use that for advantage to get bookmark symbol okay so we are going to do that we're going to see how to do that uh, okay now let's get started one second okay okay uh so let's create uh, first of all let's create three graphs okay just simple three graphs and then we can get started Uh, first of all, let's create three graphs. Let me just put it here. Mm, okay. Now let's go for stack bar chart. Okay. Uh, Now let's make another graph. Uh, let's build up an industry. Industry. Build up industry. Okay. And another new industry. So average. Okay. So we have got industry here. Let's make it like this. And change, let's change it to like this. Okay. Uh. Okay, now let's do another one. Obviously, mm, 
now we will uh, re uh, uh, arrange these charts but let me just uh, get this Average. Okay. Uh, what can we do? Oh, we need a waterfall. We need waterfall. 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 It's just simple. Okay. We got it now. So you can see we have got three different charts here. Okay. Let me just arrange these charts. Okay. Okay. Challenge this on top of each other. Uh, okay, one second. Yeah, we need to arrange this on top of each other and use the bookmarks and buttons so that you know so that we can see it properly. Okay. Now we do it. Okay. Now you can see we have three different types of charts as you can see there. Okay. Okay. Now let's open bookmarks and uh, selection. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Let's add. Uh, let's add a bookmark. Okay. So first of all we have. Uh, yeah so first of all uh, let's rename it first of all to you know to have a distinction about the names and all so let's have it so let's segment okay. so that's the bookmark we created so we want uh, in segment revenue we want the chart of segment revenue and the image we have already that's that is going to be shown so what we're going to do is we are going to hide this one uh, the annual revenue pay industry and we are going to hide uh, this one i have account source okay the next thing which we are going to do is update okay that's the thing we are going to do now we are going to add another bookmark so in this bookmark rename so this one is for industry revenue okay industry revenue we want it uh, for segment to be hidden okay and industry to show okay we want that okay now let's edit it you can see these two are different now okay now let's create another bookmark uh, for the account source uh, rename uh, source Sorry. okay now for account source same this will be hidden and we are going to show the account source okay so it's quite uh, you know it's quite good you can see that now I uh, think okay yeah we will update yeah don't forget to update okay otherwise it will not be saved uh, yeah so yeah let us see uh, let us see uh, segment industry and uh, source okay I think we're done yeah All right now let's close this okay now what we are gonna do the uh, the next what we're gonna do in the next step is like we have to insert few buttons okay let's add a blank button okay simple blank button and uh, okay let me add this here uh what uh, button text okay so what we want in this button text and um, first let us change the action okay so uh, here you can see background lock aspect uh, border action okay so we want uh, it to be like what would, uh, what is our actionable okay we want the button to do something right 
so it's a blank button so we have different types of you know uh, type back bookmark drill through page navigation q and and your web url we are going to uh, like uh, and well into that also but let's choose bookmark okay because we are uh, we just created a few bookmarks okay so we are going to choose that so let's create first choose the segment revenue obviously okay now let's go for button text and uh, default state on press okay let's not change that okay let's change to segment revenue okay and uh, oh yeah let's make it a little bit big or not so much okay font uh, let's just drop on black okay uh yeah so we have done that now let's add another button uh, let's, uh yeah yeah let's add another button so we are gonna do the same step with all the buttons okay uh so first of all we are gonna go to action turn on the action then bookmark then industry revenue Use this button text on and uh, industry revenue font color black text. Uh, we are gonna make it a uh, I think 19 or 20, yeah, whatever 20 and let's see, good, okay. We did it with industry revenue. Let's add. Uh, let's add another blank button. Okay. Now let's add it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go for action. Bookmark. Uh, source revenue, obviously. Button text. Source. source revenue font color and uh, let's do it to 19. Yeah, nice. Okay, I think we got it. Yeah, you can see here the font buttons. Okay. Got it. Okay, now you can see we have created three buttons here, uh, and uh, with the you know uh, uh, text and all everything. So you can see here uh, it it says here control plus click here to follow link. Okay, you can see here industry revenue source revenue and all. So let's control press control and click. And we have account source here. So let's go to segment, then industry, then back to source. So you can see here only by three but uh, only by three buttons we can uh, go between the graphs so easily. Uh, we can only place the place different graphs at one place, and we can uh, go between the graphs so easily, and uh, it makes the uh, like dashboards more compact, and uh, we can add more data into the da more data and more uh, features into the dashboard, and uh, yeah, we can achieve a lot. You know, by creating only one da one uh, chart and dashboard, we can achieve so much things. Like we don't need to create multiple reports, you know, to uh, um, to generate you know business insights or anything. We can do it all in one page also. So it uh, it's a really good thing. Uh, yeah. So uh, let me just show uh, different types of buttons, like uh, what it does. Uh, okay, let's say we go for information. Okay. Let's go for information. Uh, okay, let's go for information. Sorry. Okay, now let's uh, let's say we have got information. Now let's go to the formatting of the information. 
uh, we don't need any button text icon outline uh, let's make it a bit black shape information uh, okay we we can uh, edit this also like uh, what we what we want and all from here also we can edit this yeah but anyways we want the action okay so let's say like uh, it's uh, let's say in like youtube page uh, the i button comes on the top of the uh, top of a video and if you select you go to a uh, next video so let's say from here from the uh, dashboard we uh, we want to you know redirect a uh, person to a uh, web url let's say okay so let's just say web url and uh, we give the web url let me just give it i have a web url already with me and uh, we select the web url and uh, yeah we are done it yeah and uh, that's that's all we just need let me just show okay now control and we just click it and it takes us to a preview you can see uh, the uh, YouTube, youtube page uh, it takes us to our youtube page and uh, septis technopreneur university uh, so yeah let's go back to here okay now let's go for uh, let's say left arrow okay q and a yeah it's a very interesting thing q and a action type q and a We don't have any Q and A created, so that's why it's not coming. But yeah, uh, let's uh, okay. Let's go to another button. Okay, mm, let's say help. Okay, help also we can do that. Bookmark. Okay, let's say back. Let's use back. I think that would be correct. If we want to use back, uh, so let's go to action and uh, bookmark drill through q and a page navigation page navigation destination let's say we want to go to page two okay okay uh, page two uh, because we want to navigate okay so just select it and it will take us to page two okay so these are the like uh, we can add some small buttons here uh, and uh, we can uh, do so much more things by using these buttons uh, okay Mm, yeah uh, one more thing let me show um, like uh, uh, yeah, in the last video i cannot show that okay so uh, we have our let's say we created the dynamic dimensions okay so let's say we need a slicer obviously for the dynamic dimensions so let's just say this is our slicer we can just let me just put it inside it properly okay we got it now let's just uh, let's just try it drag the slicer a bit up okay okay now we add uh, attribute yeah and the attribute you got the attribute you can see so if you want to look it a bit more uh, like you know better uh, okay let's cut it out let's add a bit better attribute yeah 
Okay, we have three attributes here. So, you know, if you want to look at a better, like, uh, you know, it looks uh, very small, you know, you have to select it. We want to look at a bit better. Okay, how we can make it do that. So, just turn off the slicer ready. And uh, in general, yeah, just change the position to uh, for, uh, horizontal. And you can see. We have got here a very good uh, outline. Okay, okay, okay. Slicer adding items, font color. Mm, yeah, you can see background. Let's uh, include. Okay. So you can see clearly here, you know, uh, we have not added the, uh, yeah, we have not added the data here, so it doesn't come properly, but yeah, the, uh, it serves the same purpose. So, you know, you can select around it, you know, it gets a toggle, uh, toggle like uh, situation. So it gets a bit more interactive and it, uh, it uh, makes the dashboard look good also. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show. Uh, nice. uh, okay, now let's create another page. I want to show one more thing. Uh, let me just see if there are any you know proper dates. Uh, I think I had a date here in uh, data date. I think I had a date in some. Yeah, we got a date here. You can see we have got a date for them here. Ah, yeah. Now, one more thing I want to do. One second. Yeah. Uh, let's just say in date uh, we want to add uh, work hours. Let's add. Uh, work hours, um, average work hours, let's say, okay. And uh, we want to do it by line chart. Okay, we got it, you know, you can see clearly here. Uh, line chart, proper. And uh, uh, let's just uh, add department. Okay, it's too much. Uh, uh company and all revenue stock industry okay let's let's add department and let's filter it out okay we don't need every department okay let's filter it out let's say we want uh sorry we want accounting engineering business development okay let's tick these three okay now it looks like only three char charts are there now let's uh, do it data labels okay we don't do that okay one second let's let's change the background a bit so that i can show it properly yeah Okay, uh, legend top, uh, yeah, legend tips, right? Um, okay, okay, x axis. Is, let me change it one second. Uh, 
type the real color also let us change it by we don't need that okay okay background type it, yeah okay i think we are done yeah so you can see we have a uh, like date uh, attribute here and uh, we have a lot of uh, you can see here uh, we can just check our uh, average of work hours or we can check our average of panel revenue or anything like that we can also check like that okay anyways so what i wanted to see is uh, what, what i wanted to show is that uh, the drill down mechanics of this okay so you can see here uh, click turn on drill down and you can see go to the next level in the hierarchy okay so if we click this on we are gonna turn on the drill down okay so next is gonna go to the next level in the hierarchy okay so now we are gonna go to quarter now let's go to the next level that's month now let's go to the next level that's day okay so you can see the next level uh, how we can and create a drill mode uh, for this now drill up drill up and drill up okay so that's how we are gonna do that uh, yeah so this is this is a very good you know hierarchy mode and uh, we can build up hierarchies depending on our data how like, how do we want hierarchies like let's say company department uh, like we want to create uh, we, we can also create a hierarchy on uh, like based on that company and department uh, and uh, you know one more hierarchy so we are going to uh, learn about hierarchy in uh, upcoming videos also we are going to learn that and yes so i want to do one more thing okay, let's add another button and let's see let's see, let's see where the, yeah, insert uh, let's add. Uh, let's add. Let's add. Let uh, let's add it. Okay. And then I will need button text. Click on. default step left shape left arrow let's go for right okay now let's take let's go line color black up let's go white then we are gonna change the background okay now what we are gonna do is uh, action yeah correct action now let's go for drill through okay uh, so yeah we can uh, one of the, another thing i wanted to show is that we can actually uh, <clears throat> uh, we can actually you know give uh, uh, okay so what i uh, what i wanted to show is that we can create drill throughs from here and uh, you know we can uh, create drill throughs so that uh, uh okay. anyway so we can create drill throughs and uh, go back and forth uh, on, on the basis of that also i wanted to show that uh, so we are going to learn that about how we can uh, create drill throughs in the upcoming videos uh, and uh, yeah and also we are going to show uh, we are going to learn how to create q and a's and how we can use those q and a's in the buttons and uh, we are going to learn about many more things mm, uh, so uh, yeah, so there are uh, lots of, uh, I, I just wanted to, uh, my point is that uh, there are lots of possibilities uh, what we can do and what we cannot do in, in Power BI. There are lots of possibilities uh, we can achieve uh, uh, through Power BI. You can see it's, it's a very interactive, uh, we can build uh, so much interactive uh, pages, reports, uh, dashboards and many more things we can do from here. Um, so it helps us a lot. And it's quite simple to use. You can see uh, we can just uh, 
go for transform data and uh, we can do so much more things with our data this is what we call the power query editor so yeah we can enter data into this we can um, like we i we showed like how to merge and append queries and everything and uh, we it also has text analytics uh, vision like, uh, like computer uh, like the cognitive services and uh, it also has azure azure machine learning obviously so like if we want to do some azure machine learning models apply some models on uh, some data sets so we can also do that uh, yeah, so there are a lot of things we can uh, do uh, do here. Also, we have here, uh, you know, we can, if we can also run Python scripts, you know, how if you can uh, just, uh, if, if we have a Python script written and we want to, you know, to use that to remove null values or do some feature engineering or feature selection. And uh, if you want to apply PCA, uh, principal component analysis on uh, our data to make it more secure and you know, to give it a different look, uh, to have a different perspective on a data. Uh, we can also do that after running the Python script, you know, we can go for like uh, Azure machine learning or something like that. So there are lots of possibilities we can do by using Power BI uh, and uh, like, uh, so yeah, so I think uh, that's it for this video. I wanted to show you know how to uh, build interactive graphs, how to you know what are the functions of the buttons, how we can uh, like enable actions by uh, using those buttons and how those buttons can help us uh, and many more things uh, how we can uh, do all these things. Let's publish it first of all. Let's not forget to do that. Save. Okay. Uh, okay. Close this. Okay, it will take a bit of time to get published. Uh, uh, okay, one second. Let me just close this, and uh, we can publish it again. And once we publish this, this thing will appear in our uh, developer org, Salesforce developer org, uh, what we did. And uh, yeah, let's go and see our developer org. And uh, we can, uh, yeah, so let's uh, see uh, if it works or not and how we can, you know. How it will help how it looks in our developer app. So let's yeah, now you can see uh, here uh, we don't. Uh, Control, 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 control plus click, and it works here also. So that's uh, what I wanted to show. Here also, we can, you know, go down the hierarchy and check out various amounts of data and, uh, you know, to make it and set. So, yeah, that's, uh, these are various useful features we can use while uh, creating a dashboard and, why, uh, and uh, how to read uh, with this, uh, how to you know, generate business insights from the dashboard, uh, how we can filter it, how what's the use of the buttons and all. So, yeah. so that's all I want to show. And uh, in the upcoming videos, we're going to learn more about Power BI and about more features of Power BI. So, uh, and much more about Salesforce also, we're going to learn about that also. Uh, so stay tuned for more upcoming videos. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you. Uh, bye.